Good morning, it's Leanne Jago back again for Art and Soul Studio. Today I'm creating a scrapbooking layout called Spread Your Wings. It's for our January February challenge. Um, just a couple of things just to go with the mood board and you have to add sparkle and shine to border tags. So here I am with gathering up some supplies. I'm using a um, Dusty Addict 49 and Market Wild and Free Tip board set. Um, it's a pretty cool set. It's um, really fine, um, which is a little bit tricky to work with later on because I actually do flood it a bit and probably get it a bit wet. So that's not quite a good thing, but you know, it, it ended up working. I saved it, so um, yeah, it still looks pretty cool. So I'm just uh, punching out the pieces here. So it is really a, a beautiful set. So then to colour it, I'm just going to use some Lindy's Magicals um, in Cuckoo Clock Cardinal, Yodeling Yellow, Umpa Pa Pink and Oktoberfest Orange. Um, so just on a messy mat, um, just sprinkling them, spraying them with water and then I'm just going to smoosh the chipboard around. You'll see it in a second when I flip it over, it actually looks, looks really cool. Um, it's not overpowering, um, it is quite bright when you first do it and then it sort of calms when it dries. So I'm just layering it and just setting it aside to try. So yeah, I like I, lo I love the effect of it. It wasn't um so it's still pretty random. Some of the colours highlighting in different areas. Now I love this piece of paper, so you know this wonderful colour that I've got left here on my mat, I can't waste it. So I've got out my piece of paper that I'll pattern paper that I'm gonna use, which is the seven dots under the covers from the Dreamscapes collection. Um, so I'm just sort of dabbling it on, wiping it off, spraying it. And then I remembered a couple of things. Oh, and then I'm going to smish some of this page into my art journal because it looks good, too good to waste. So that's what I did there. Looks pretty cool. I'll do something with that later on. So now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, no, it's, it's not working. Um, these look good. So how about I just go onto these? while I think about what I'm going to do to that background. So I just get some fine gauge wire, um, I'm not going to bore you with that, um, just in a red and a gold um, and then with the gold I just sort of wind it around a couple of pieces of the frame of the dream catcher um, and then I actually add, join um, the feathers and the I don't know what those other things are called. The other dangly bits. We'll go with dangly bits. With um, some bread wire. So it's pretty fine. It takes a little while to do. So yeah, I'm always going to pull you there. Now I'm thinking about this. I didn't like it. Um, I remember two things. I didn't seal it first. So, and I didn't like that background. It ended up being too bright. And I would have lost it. So, lost the dream catcher in it. So what I've done, I've just got a new piece of paper out. Um, and I'm just sealing it there with some um, Matisse. Um, clear gesso and then I don't know where I'm going I I don't I honestly I didn't know where I was going with this piece so I flipped it over flipped that piece that I'd ruined paper that I'd ruined over and cut some strips out of it just random sizes um, something that Fiona Poultry sh showed us in the classes that you know sometimes if you don't know where you're going just cut some strips and go from there so that's what I did um, and then I'm going to use the background that I created, I'll use some of those pieces because they actually look pretty cool like that in those strips um, and then some of the other side and then I'm just um, colouring the edges in a Prima Colour Philosophy ink pad in the Flamingo colour. Okay so I've got my piece of paper, I've got my dream catcher and then I'm like I like this photo, I only want it skinny. Um, so I trim it down um, for two reasons. One, because the horizon line wasn't straight on the photo, which was annoying me a little. And then two, that I knew that I only wanted a skinny piece, because I didn't want to cover that whole um, wonderful piece of chipboard up with a photo. So now I'm looking at thinking it needs to need, the edge needs doing. Um, I was going to sandpaper it, but then I decided to to just cover it in some of that philosophy um, flamingo colour, and then some stays on black just to give it a border. So now I'm thinking, right, okay, I still want to do some, 
mixed media or something on this background. I can't leave it just plain and clean. Um, I don't do clean very well. Um, so then I've just got out some Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the Wild Honey and then Oxide Ink Pad in um, Fired Brick. And then I'm just um, squirting some of those on and then it wasn't red enough so I've just used some of that um, Magic Cook again. Again, too good to waste that nice colour that was left on that mat. Um, and then I just dry it off just a little um, and then dabble it up so it's not so in your face dry up that colour. And I'm actually quite happy with this. Then I get out my strips and then I'm just going to layer them um, wherever they want to go, pretty much. Um, yep, just layer them up. Just pretty randomly. Um, you'll notice that I'm not doing the edges of it either. Um, just so that they curl up a little bit, I suppose, and just add that little extra, extra bit of dimension. So I have a general idea where that um, frame is going to go and then where my photo is going to go. So I'm just working sort of within that guidelines of myself as to where I'm laying or things up. As you can see, you can see those backgrounds look really good together. Um, the different colours of the back page or the B-side of that pattern paper as well as my mixed up piece. Um, yep, and then I want some different shapes. So I've just got out the Dreamscapes collection again in the Seven Dot Studio using the element stickers and the die cut elements. Um, just cutting some randomly and sticking them on. Again, just thinking about things and thinking, you know, I need something there. There we go. There's my um, dream catch all joined on. Now, sparkle. Um, I'm not a sparkle. So this was one part where I had to dig deep into my stash of stuff that one day I'll use. Um, and this is actually a plot, I think, that I got from a uh, Louise Nelson class where they'd mixed up already. There is some glitter in there and then a couple of different size beads. Um, in the yellow which is yellow and gold which would work perfectly with that photo and what I'm doing. So yep, yeah, just um, apply some gel medium on the background just in random spots and then just sprinkle it over and then let it do its thing. So there seemed to be a lot of glitter down the bottom so I just needed some more beads down there. Oh, there's a couple of black ones randomly in that collection that's why I'm getting tweezers out to make sure that the black ones are gone. But yeah, it, it's there's glitter everywhere at this point, you know, and then I while I'm doing it, I'm thinking this is why I don't use glitter because it just goes everywhere. Um, and then I just decided I needed a couple of more elements up the top there. It just wasn't quite balanced enough, I suppose, for me. And then did you see that? I'm actually keep testing where that piece is going to go. This is something that I don't usually do. Usually I'm a, a stick things down without really any much thought and then go from there. But I'm actually thinking about this today, so which is unusual as I said. So I'm just using some Helmar 450 glue just to stick them down. Now I know where that photo is going to go so you'll see I'll to add a bit to that middle and then I'll stick my photo on. And then you're mucking around with it, may as well just stick it down. So I've just backed it with just a little bit of chipboard, a little bit of bookboard that I had. And then I'm thinking, just then when I put that piece of the photo down, a couple of the beads moved and I'm thinking, they look really good up there. So I want to try and add some up there. So here I am fumbling around trying to add a couple of beads into a spot. Not a lot of beads, just a couple of beads. Not sure whether I mentioned it, but I just used the golden soft gel medium to glue those down. And then my tags. So here I am thinking, okay, should I use the same collection or just go with my plain ones? Again, testing which is not something I usually do. So I end up with the Seven Dot Studio, so I just go around the outside of those in the Flamingo and that honey, wild honey. And then I just get out some calico, cut a few strips, and then I just tear them, and then tie knots in them. Um, you know, you, you could punch holes in these tags and then feed it through and hopefully get it to sit right, but instead I just tied a knot and then stuck it on top. Still works. Well, I think it still works. There we go, just adding some of that wild honey. Just needed something extra. 
again testing where they go and then I'm thinking two two we can't have two we need three we always have three the rule of odd numbers it's just something that I always like um, so I found another one of those um, seven dots ones again colouring it up exactly the same as what I did before adding the strip exactly the same so I had these pieces left over so it worked in well I knew it couldn't go um, horizontal so I needed to put it vertically and I wanted it under some stuff so I've just sort of snuck it in there uh, this was said before I didn't use the tape all the way to the ends here I'm just sticking things down and then I go know that I'm sticking this one down there and I've got an element sticker in there so I think I can't waste that element sticker so I took it off and I'm going to use it again somewhere else and there was a piece on that right hand side there that wasn't working either on the top of the tag so waste not what 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 not just trying to get some of that glitter off it's just everywhere then I'm thinking what does it need it needs a black I always add black so I got my sharpie out and then I drew around a couple of bits it didn't need it it was a mistake but you know what can't undo things and I mean some people just go I've ruined it and just walk away from the whole piece whereas you know what bit what will be will be can't do much about it so now I'm just getting out some um, silks acrylic glaze in the silver bills just to give it a bit of shine um, and I put some on the photo edges as well and just randomly on that um, dream catcher so then I'm really liking it and I'm thinking now title I need a big title and then those element the word stickers were just sitting there and I'm like no you don't need a big title just a little one and this is where the spread your wing comes in and actually ends up being perfect for the photo. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but it's um, a photo of my horse, uh, my daughter at horse riding lessons, um, where she's learning to to ride without her arms, so her arms are widespread and in the sunset, so it's really pretty. Um, just trimming it off because I'm thinking I'm finished. Pulling out the background paper so I can see what's there, and then just that glitter everywhere is annoying me, and it doesn't have an edge. It, it didn't seem finished. Um, I finish, I usually have a border around everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting those couple of colours out in the um, that I've used around all the edges, so the honey and the flamingo, and just adding a nice edge to that page, which now I think it, it's, it feels to me more finished. And those two colours combined really well, they actually match that background perfectly. So here I am just trying to get some of that glitter off. Glitter is everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Reminding me why I don't usually use glitter. But anyway, so that's it. All finished. Thank you. Um, I'll just leave you with some close-ups now. So there you have it, spread your wings for our challenge. So you can win a $50 voucher this month at Art and Soul Studio. So be sure to visit them and our Soul Sisters Facebook group. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much.